Hello friends, welcome back to the shop and welcome back to the start of a new restoration series. And the pipe we're going to be restoring is the uh, one in front of you. Uh, and this is a 7 Ellie. And I'm very excited about this pipe. This is one that I'm uh, going to, to restore for my own collection because I really like it a lot. So let me see if I can bring you in a bit and show you the stampings on this. Hopefully I can get the focus to work. It's always a bit dicey depending on the lighting here. But there you can see hopefully the uh, the 7 LA logo and that is uh, not showing up great but it's nicely stamped in there. On the other side we have um, pretty basic markings. There's the 7 LA shield and right next to that is the shape indication. So this is a 315 KS and then below that is stamped the word Italy. And for those of you that uh, don't know, uh, 7 Ellie has a series of numbers that are used to uh, define the, the shapes of their pipes or identify the shapes of their pipes. Uh, this one, the, the 315, is a prince shape. And you can see when I zoom out, the, the overall prince shape is, is, is evident there. Uh, and the three-digit number uh, is indicative of a pipe that's been made after 1970. And unfortunately, that's the only dating information that I can really gather for this pipe, so it's not very useful, but uh, all I can say about this is that it was made after 1970. Um, there is one other marking on here that I should have shown you before I zoomed out, uh, which is interesting. You can see, it's upside down, you can see the words uh, twin bore, and I'll get to what that means in just a second. So uh, I'm excited about this for a couple of reasons. This is, first off, a shape that uh, I don't have in my collection right now. But the great thing about the Prince is the Prince is essentially a, a pot, and I do like uh, pots quite a bit. So it's a relatively squat but yet broad bowl. Um, and it uh, just has a little bit more flair than a, than a pot does. You know, it's, it's a little bit more elegant, for lack of a better word. Not that I'm particularly known for elegant pipes. but uh, So I'm, I'm looking forward to this. It's a shape I don't currently have. The other thing I really like about this pipe is the grain. I mean, some of the grain on this is just, in my opinion, absolutely stunning. I mean, we've got uh, some bird's eye there. On the bottom, there's a few patches of, of really nice bird's eye. And then, uh, I don't know what it's called when it when it does this, but there's, you know, sort of radiating grain here. And then over this side, there's just this beautiful, like, starburst uh, piece that, that is just spreading out and uh, running straight grain out from it. Uh, I just think this is really some some stunning green, so I'm I'm really looking forward to getting this uh, all cleaned up and then polished up and uh, letting it shine. There's not a lot to be done to this pipe, to be honest. Uh, this is really more of a uh, refurbishing project than than a restoration. Just just cleaning it essentially. So you can see the top uh, has quite a bit of charring on it. I think that's going to come off pretty easily uh, without sanding. Uh, clearly. There's some cake build up there that, that we need to take care of, uh, so it's going to have to be reamed. Um, the stem is actually in fairly good shape. There's some heavy oxidation around the, the button, but we can deal with that. There's a few chew marks in the button that we'll try to lift out or possibly fill. Uh, and then the last point that I want to make here is that this is a really interesting uh, stem. This is the twin bore stem, and that's why it had twin bore stamped on the bottom. Uh, as you can see, instead of the normal slot, there's actually two holes there. And uh, from what I can gather, those two holes join shortly after uh, the, the beginning of the, the stem here. And then there's just a single um, draft hole going from about this point down. And once I get some pipe cleaners in there and probe around a bit, I'll, I'll make sure that that is the case and I'll update you if it's different. Uh, so the, there's not a lot to be done with this. Um, we need to clean out the internals, um, get it reamed, clean the, the, the charring off the top here, and then probably just do some uh, some oil soap and you know very light abrasion. Uh, not going to sand anything at all. Uh, sand the stem a bit to get rid of that oxidation and try to clean that up as much as I can. Repair those few dents and then buff it up and see how she uh, she smokes. So this should be a relatively short project, uh, unless I run into trouble, probably just another one or two videos before we have a finished product. But uh, it's good to be back uh, in the shop uh, working on a pipe again, and I hope that you all will uh, 
follow along with this one as, as I try to bring it back to life and get it into smoking condition so that uh, I can sit down some weekend and enjoy a bowl with you all. So anyway, thank you all for watching. Um, thanks much for your, your comments or likes. I appreciate them. And uh, thank you to all my subscribers. I've gotten another burst of subscribers over the past week. I don't know where they're coming from, but I'm really happy to have them. So welcome to, to the new subscribers. Thank you to all the old subscribers. And if you're not subscribed and you'd like to see how this uh, 7LE315KS turns out, uh, please uh, click subscribe so you can follow along with the uh, future videos. So with that, I thank you all, and I will look forward to uh, talking to you again real soon. Goodbye now.